Luke, I am your father. Gotta love the dad jokes. That one earned me a eye roll. Okay, welcome back to the OMD life. I want to talk about pollen and dust and being miserable. This year's been the worst that I can remember in some time. Um, I know just doing a little bit of work out in the yard, come in and uh, shower off, but I can't breathe. My nose is so stopped up at running at the same time. Eyes are itching like crazy and um, just miserable, absolutely miserable. So it got me looking for um, you know some, some solutions to see what's out there. And one of the items that came up was the wolf snout. And they have a landscaping package with the ground force goggles and the all sport wolf snout dust mask. So we're gonna talk about it. Welcome back to the OND life where we get orange and dirty. This is where you can come for some lessons learned from a new tractor owner who learned the hard way, but also learn about some products that I found that has made my tractor a lot more usable, a lot more enjoyable, and has helped me out tremendously around the homestead. So stick around and today we'll be talking about something that I'm sure you'll enjoy. So here it is. It is designed more so for um, off-road uh, motorcycle racing, uh, riding side by side, you know, where you end up, you're in a caravan and um, lots of dust and even Baja racers um, use, use it. So that way, uh, it, and, and the advantage, a lot of times they're wearing goggles also, and they have the same concern about fogging up the, their goggles. So what this does, actually, it just fits up, it goes up under your nose, basically, covers your mouth, and um, it, 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 the way it's designed, it makes it so it doesn't fog up your glasses. So I thought I'd give it a try. The other nice thing is it's not as big. You know, there's some other products on the market that just seem huge and would be hot. Um, this, you know, has a smaller footprint. Like I said, this year it's been so so bad that my eyes were just itchy and swollen and puffy. So I also have gotten the um, goggles that they sell a set, the All Sport. I believe these are called the All Sport goggles. Um, or the All Sport mask. It's kind of a combo set. And I got the one that also included these um, shaded lenses. So there's a, a lighter shade and a darker shade. So you're going to see, and, and they, they slip in just right at the top. I've gone ahead, I've used these already a couple weekends. Um, when I weed eat some of the thicker stuff, it really, you know, splatters up. And after I, I had to wash it all off, um, so I've, I've cleaned it off already. And uh, I'm going to put it back on and go do some mowing, more mowing. And um, you know, it's nice because it's ni nice and dark. Um, I'm going to roll in some footage, and you'll see how dark they are. Now, I do. I am using a pair of my old glasses that are scratched up but they're small enough to fit inside you know I can wear them uh, with the goggles so that kind of works out nice I can see if you don't have any uh, glasses uh, or you wear contacts then you know no problem at all I just don't like wearing my contacts I haven't worn them for years now so pretty pretty easy I'll, I'll show I'll, I'm gonna roll in some photos uh, with the mask and the goggles on, uh, along with my, you know, headphones and a hat, kind of keep the sun off my face. Uh, I do need to get something for my neck. I tell you, it was burning up yesterday. So, anyways, enjoy some of the footage. Check out the wolf snout. Um, 
dust protection as well as their goggles. Might as well go ahead and go all the way. Gives you options for when the pollen is really bad or the conditions are really dusty um, to keep it out of your eyes. And that way you're not miserable. So it made a significant difference after uh, mowing yesterday and weed eating. So I did a, a whole lot. Um, and I noticed it last night. I could breathe through my nose. Uh, didn't have the headache. Eyes weren't itchy and puffy. So it was a good deal. Good deal. I highly recommend it. Enjoy. Okay, here's some pictures when I got finished weed eating my ditch down there. I did have, um, I took off my ear protection and uh, you can see the goggles pushed down on my ears. Um, the, uh, the, there was quite a bit of plant material that was um, splattering up, I guess you'd say. And, you know, the goggles came, sure came in handy to keep that out of my eyes. The, um, you know, the other thing that I had no problem with was uh, fogging up of the goggles or my glasses. So that was good. Um, that's always a pain when you're, you know, doing a task and uh, you've got to stop to wipe the fog out of your goggles or your glasses. So didn't have any problem with that. The way that that mask sits up under your nose and the way that it's, uh, uh, you know, the porousness of it, you know, it, it lets the your hot air um, escape and not up underneath your glasses or into the goggles. So that was great. The, um, I want to say on the website, I was kind of reading some comments from the owner about, you know, is it, is it, uh, you know, rated to protect against chemicals and such, or, or, you know, I can't even remember what the verbiage was, but uh, he, he doesn't make any um, claims about its rating. Um, all I know is that it blocked out the pollen and the dust. Um, I didn't have the headache after I mowed with it and weed eated, um, you know, compared to when I did that the week before, so it, it was it was much better. So in my book, it it works. You know, they um, a lot of motor, motorcycle riders and um, Baja racers use it, and you think about all the dust that they uh, inhale riding behind other riders. So it 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 uh, definitely works for it for this purpose you know you I, I showed the pictures there of me with just the goggles or without the goggles with just the mask on and it uh, it you know was very comfortable that way as well so check them out that's wolf snout this is the all sport mask and ground force goggles Thanks for watching. I truly feel blessed to be able to do this and contribute back to the YouTube community that I have learned so much from, such as how to do tractor and auto maintenance and repair, plumbing repairs in my house, electrical, which I'm certain has saved me thousands of dollars over the years. Not to mention the tons of entertainment watching tractor related videos in anticipation of my tractor, then how to use it, or the attachments, or what my next attachment mod I absolutely needed. I'm sure I'm the only one, right? To help support the channel, please hit the like button and comment below. This helps the video get suggested to other viewers. Plus, I really enjoy the interaction from y'all. If you want to see other videos of my tractor adventures, sub subscribe to my channel at OND Life and hit the bell symbol to be notified when new videos are posted. When you go to my channel, you will find videos discussing attachments, some safety lessons learned from a rollover I had, and a time that the tractor was running away from me downhill. 
And then there's videos of just getting orange and dirty. If you are on Facebook, you can find me at OND Life. Like and follow the page for sneak peeks of current weekend projects and likely upcoming videos. Look in the description below for my email and link to the OND Life Amazon store where you can find some products that I use in the videos or just use or that I want and I plan to order at some point from the store. Lastly, check out some of the videos in the description. I have some links. They're videos of products that can help keep you orange and dirty, living the O&D life. O&D out.